G'day everyone, welcome back to another unboxing video. If this is your first time to this channel, my name's Tim. I normally make technology and lifestyle unboxing videos as well as food and travel related vlogs. And in my reality, that's the holy trinity. Now today's unboxing takes somewhat of a segue off my traditional vertical in that I am unboxing something that, that pertains to my hobby, which is aquaculture and aquaponics and it's not something I normally talk about on this channel but this product I really really wanted to to introduce to all of you it is the Tetra Whisper 300 air pump air pump why are we dedicating an episode to air pumps at the moment I'm using this ultra cheap made in China full outlet pump which I bought from eBay for $69 now that is incredibly cost effective because if you break it down it has four outlets which I have split even further so the biggest disadvantage about this particular aerator or this air pump aquarium pump is that it's noisy well actually if you look at it, it's actually not even that noisy it's the equivalent to a quiet office atmosphere so when you're in this office for 12 to 18 hours a day um, working and gaming it becomes an annoyance it's that almost tinnitus like background hum that is not at all relaxing or enjoyable it is causing me great discomfort and it's annoying the heck out of me. That is why we're here today to unbox and test the Tetra Whisper 300 aerator. It is allegedly one of the quietest designed air pumps on the market at this price point. Now I paid $49 for this on Amazon, which is still ridiculously cheap. However, it only has one outlet. Apart from evaluating the volume of this aerator, I also want to see how many sponge filters and how many air stones this 300 Whisper Tetra device can actually power. Uh, However, seeing as it only has one outlet, or rather that's what the Amazon description said, that there's only one outlet, but if you look at this picture, it actually shows two outlets. So I don't know which is which. However, in the advent that there is only one outlet, what I have here is this seven valve air distributor, which I've just attached using a standard airline hosing here, which I'll be attaching to the outlet. And from that, I'll attach all seven aquariums or the, the sponge filters and the um, air stones too. And from that, I'll be able to regulate the amount of air that goes into it. So it's a rather garish tetra colour schemed um, cardboard box. And we have a manual once again. I'm not a big fan of instruction manuals because I don't read it and I just feel it's superfluous in 2022 or 2021 or whatever year we're in. Um, but yeah provides information on how to use this product. I won't be using this. This is going straight into the recycling bin. Ooh. It is very compact. It is light. Oh, wow. When you compare the current air raid I'm using with this Tetra Whisper 300, it is really compact. It is not large at all. The construction is really high grade ABS plastic. Um, there's, I can't hear anything. There is no moving parts whatsoever. So the patented dome shape, as well as the sound dampening chambers inside, really reduces turbulence and in theory produces a very smooth stream of air. Now the footprint and the rubber feet, as well as the pump motor which is suspended, is allegedly going to eliminate sound producing vibrations. Wow, okay, I'm loving the design, I'm loving the compact size and its weight. I cannot wait to use it. However, one thing I noticed, um, Amazon description said that there was only one outlet, but upon investigation, there's clearly two outlets here. Unless, of course, one's in and one's out. However, there is no labeling. We're plugging her in. Here we go. It's not the quietest thing on earth. It's actually quite loud. 
let's do... Obviously, this audio test isn't the most accurate because I'm using a free app, but it gives you a good indication. Okay, without the outlets plugged into airline hosing, 52 decibels, which is the equivalent sound to a quiet office, which is not too dissimilar to the other device that I'm using right now. But what happens when I plug in airline hosing? Not pretty. Can you see that? Okay, so let's unplug. Let's unplug all the airline hosing from this current aerator into this Tetra Whisper 300. I thought I'd get really up close for the summary information. The Tetra Whisper 300 is an incredibly capable air pump. It is well rated for its 150 to 300 litre recommended setups. But for me, I tried to push it to the extreme. I tried to use this singular air pump to provide aeration to seven different tanks seven different setups which require vastly different amounts of airflow and air pressure. Um, so much so that I, I, it, it's just not feasible. I just wasn't having the water turnover that I needed because some of my tanks are very heavily stocked, which means that the production of um, ammonia nitrite nitrate can at times be quite high. And because most of the aeration goes into sponge filters, I need that airflow so that I can have that really high population of beneficial bacteria, which is gonna help with the whole nitrogen cycle, which is why I didn't wanna compromise even though it was possible. So I plugged in seven, seven airlines into the Whisper 300 with various valve configurations and technically all seven of those um, devices were getting aeration. I could see bubbles, just not the water turnover that I needed, which is why I decided I'm having a combination of the Whisper 300 as well as the that big ass cheap um, eBay air pump that I have. Between the two of them, all my tanks are incredibly happy. And because I've now spread the workload over two air pumps, the Chinese, the cheap Chinese full outlet pump actually has something that the Whisper 300 does not, which is the capacity to control the amount of airflow. Um, and by reducing the amount of workload onto that four outlet device, I was able to reduce the air production um, capabilities and as a result the motor is producing significantly less vibrations which is a win-win. It's still there but it's not as bad as it was before. I highly, highly recommend the Tetra Whisper range so much so I'm actually seriously considering going onto Amazon and buying a second device so that I have two of the whispers and I can remove that full outlet because it is whisper quiet. If you have the opportunity, buy the Tetra Whisper. See you next unboxing. Bye.